the will of the people. The people that made this happen are not the majority in America. We are much better people than the person who happened to get elected. He does not represent the populace. So, the rest of the world, they say he doesn't represent what we want in our future. This is the real America. This is what's really happening. Like, like showing, you know, these feelings, getting them out, that maybe we can come together. This whole presidency has just brought out the hate in this country and this is the perfect time for everyone to stand together in love and be kind and unite so we can have a better country. For minorities, for women, you know, LGBT community. There's a lot of people out here today, clearly. So there's a lot of people that have our backs. We are not going to wait four more years. We are going to fight, fight, fight. Because silence equals death. And I'm not going to let him destroy everything I believe America is about. It's very easy to sort of be with a movement when it's uh, when emotions are heightened like this, but it's the long game that's important here. It's about every single day being, being educated, being engaged in your community. Going out, getting engaged locally, finding organizations to join with. Art making, organizing, and getting down with your local community. Personally, I'm planning to start being part of the community board in my city. Out of Bushwick, Brooklyn, we've already formed a health coalition working for bills and laws. I work now as an educator, so I'm working with a few of my coworkers to create this group after school that works towards social justice. I do believe that people, women, have the power within to make the change that will really matter and that will be lasting. But we're not going to sit back. This is a stand that we're taking. Complacency is no longer an option. Yes, we can! Yes, we can!